It's great to be here on the 25th anniversary of the SOPA Awards. Thank you for granting me a moment to speak on a topic in which we all have a stake. And by all, I don't simply mean the journalism community in this room. It's been just over two months since our colleague Evan Gershkovich was unjustly arrested by Russia. And we have been truly touched by the outpouring of support from media and journalist communities around the world. As you know, Evan was arrested for nothing more than doing his job as a reporter, and we remain outraged at his wrongful detention. What remains a worrying reality is that if this can happen to Evan, it can happen to anyone. If we don't stand up to this, then this will not be the last family who sees their loved one taken from them. Let's not forget, Evan is a son, a brother and a friend. He loves Russia and he loves what his reporting means to and for the people of Russia. We know what's going on there because of his reporting. It's why this is not just an attack on Evan or an attack on the Wall Street Journal. It's an attack on a free press that is committed to reporting the facts. It's a reminder of the increasing danger journalists are facing all over the world. And it's vital to remember that such a brazen violation of press freedom has consequences, not just for journalism and media, but for governments and democracies around the world. We must join together and be heard. We must push back on this behaviour or we will see more of it. We must stand up for the rule of law. We're doing everything in our power to secure Evan's release and we won't rest until he's free. We appreciate all of the support from you here tonight and applaud the great work you and your teams are doing to tell important stories. I hope you'll join us in standing up for journalism and what it means for a free society. Join us in standing with Evan. Thank you for your time this evening and for all that you're doing to ensure that the free press continues to thrive around the world.